Hello, CNN. We're back here with Tablet Magazine columnist and author of Secret City, Jamie Kerchick, Lieutenant Governor of Virginia, Winsome Earl Sears, and the Republican Governor of New Hampshire, Chris Sununu. Quite a lineup here tonight. And people want to know these questions that they write in. Okay, this is for Governor Sununu. What do you make of Biden's decision to make South Carolina the first Democratic primary? Say, right, now you're governor of, uh, of New Hampshire. That was always, and still is the Republican first. No, and the Democrat. I'm sorry, Joe, we're going first. I don't care what the Democrat, the Democrat Party doesn't dictate who goes first. The state of New Hampshire does. No, but that, no, they, I'm not saying that. De the Democrat changed theirs. No, they didn't. They didn't? So the Democrats tried, but New Hampshire's Democrat primary will still go first. Because, again, our oh. law says we're going to go first. And this is Biden's real problem, because he's left a huge opening for someone to come into New Hampshire, uh, campaign there strong with some name ID, and, uh, and, and charge through, essentially. By the way, uh, South Carolina doesn't have a first-in-the-nation primary. They, they, they dictate, pr Trump didn't have one in 20. They just said Trump's the winner. So Biden has effectively moved the first in the nation, tried to move it from New Hampshire to a state that won't even hold it. They'll just say, you're the incumbent, you're the winner. So it's actually a horrible miscalculation on his part. Okay. But I'm sorry, Joe, we're going first. Well, okay, now... <laughs> Now, you announced on our show tonight that you're running for president. So I know, I, well, oh, <laughs> again, it's, all, it's about the indictment. Let's, I mean, see, let's see what I mean, happens. Let's see what happens. Sense, in essence, he did. It didn't, not in so many words. But it, 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 I it, did? It, well, My on. wife is, is texting me as we speak. Okay. <laughs> Say okay. it ain't so. But New Hampshire, I mean, that's a, a wash for you because you're from New Hampshire. So that primary is meaningless for you because if you don't win it, then, oh, my God, you can't even win your home state. And that's if you do problem. win it, it means nothing. No, no, if you win, it won't, if I were to win New Hampshire, it would be, you're not, you didn't win by enough, and if you lose it, you're totally toast. It's right. actually a disadvantage. I get what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, for you, Lieutenant Governor Sears, what's a realistic way to approach immigration reform? Heavens, how about doing it the right way and doing it the legal way? I mean, my dad had to wait in line, wait his turn, sign all kinds of documents, prove who he was. I mean, you've got to know who's coming into the country. We are a nation of laws. And if he had to do it, everybody's got to do it. That's the law. I'm oh. sorry. Okay. Anybody... No, don't apologize. That's the right answer. You nailed it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not apologizing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Governor Sununu, should we, doing, we be doing more to secure our northern border to prevent, northern underlined, to prevent the trafficking of drugs? Yeah. And Canadians. What? And Canadians. And Canadians. They're very dangerous. So, a, a northern border crossing is <laughs> up 800%. I, yeah. I, nor 800 percent? 800, hundreds of thousands in, the, in just the last quarter we're from Canada. Yes, yeah, so we're doing kind of our part. A lot of the states are open. It's a very unprotected border. But it's nothing like the southern border, of course. But, yeah, you have to protect the northern border as well. Canada has agreements with about five different countries. You don't even need visas. I think Honduras, El Salvador, they fly to Canada, and then they walk across. We have them walking across through the woods in New Hampshire. Now, of course, our longest border is with Canada. Yeah. Another critique of your state as, as a primary state is that it's not diverse. So it doesn't really look not like... Not diverse. Look, look like we, America. We have the highest voter turnout in the country. South Carolina's diversity? Uh, look, South Carolina has about 15% voter turnout. What's the point of diversity if you don't let anybody vote, if nobody comes out to participate? We have rich, we have poor, we have black, we have white. It doesn't matter. Everyone in New Hampshire participates in the process. Well, I mean... I'll take... I'll put my diversity against I, South Carolinas any day when you actually look at who's actually voting and participating. I, the only black you have there is a bear. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, you, it's a very white state. No, no. Oh, sure, it, of course. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'm just saying, but that's... that's but isn't that, it about who participates? To... Isn't it about actually having a primary? Like I said, the Democrats likely aren't even going to hold the primary in South Carolina. So what's the point of diversity if you don't let people participate? I mean, they say that we, well, we subvert the vote by asking people for an ID. They subvert the vote by not even letting them show up. I mean, that's the reality I, I, you're, you're facing we, here. So that's why we're the best at the first in the nation primary. I'm, the high voter participation, the voter turnout, local control. And here's the most important part. I can't help you, Bill. I'm from Massachusetts. I'm not following this argument, but I'm go from ahead. Massachusetts. I'm from Massachusetts, and we, we used to refer to New Hampshire as Kentucky and New England. So that's... <laughs> really? What? <laughs> That's not nice. Coming, That's coming, not fair. coming from Massachusetts, <laughs> right? Oh, coming oh, from Massachusetts, oh, oh. give me a break. Why? Why is New Hampshire the fastest yeah, growing that, state that, in the Northeast? That's Come on. That's not fair. That's not Come on. I didn't Hampshire. say I agreed with it. It's just, that was what we used to say. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Bashir is now texting right. me. Governor Bashir is texting me, okay. figuring out what that comment meant. Speaking of peak Caucasian. Um, <laughs> 
perfect segue for this question. Why was the public so captivated by Gwyneth Paltrow's trial this week? Does the, <laughs> does the panel think justice was served? Does the panel it was care? He said, she said. Yeah, I mean, really. Uh, well, know, two you know rich what? people fighting it out. You know, I'm not in that. It, here, he, here's the only. Go ahead. He was an orthodontist, if I'm not mistaken. Optometrist. Optometrist. Retire, other, oh. Retired optometrist. Okay. Meaning? Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you were like Perry Mason. I have the evidence and then nothing. Well, what, what, what's the significance well, of that? I was going to say, if he was... Ah, he if, was an optometrist. I think an, that says it all. If what? he was an orthodontist, I had terrible memories of orthodontistry as a, as a teenager, like, like many of us have had. I, and I, I would have sided with her instinctively on that. But he wasn't well, an orthodontist, so it doesn't matter. I think, I, I think she was inspired by Johnny Depp in the... No, in this way. Johnny Depp was just not going to take it. He was like, now, we don't know what goes on in a marriage, although actually we do know what went on in that marriage because they testified to it in court. You cut off my finger, you shit in the bed. You know, okay. <laughs> oh, marriage, it sounds great. Anyway, um, but I, th I think Gwyneth was the same thing. She was like, this was only cost her $300,000. She's worth millions. She could have just paid it off. And she said, I am not going to let a guy just hold me up. I'm going to fight it. I'm, uh, you know, we just can't have this situ situation yeah. in this country, which we do have, where people can accuse you of anything, yeah. and it's just easier to pay off. She said, I don't care if it's just $1. Well, well that's get... assuming she didn't do it. I mean, who knows what happened? There was no video. You know, we're a video society. But uh, they're skiing. Exactly. What, what, I mean, I don't know. Who, who knows One what happened? One of them happened? collided into the other. Yeah, that's that's how collided we know. into each and other. somebody it's... sued somebody else. So... This is America. We right. sue, and then we see what happens. That's what I'm... This is, exactly. this is where I'll give Gwyneth a lot of credit. Do you see after the verdict came down, she went over, pat him on the shoulder and said, I wish you well. I wish you That's well. a boss move. That, that is. is a boss move on her part. Because it well, basically says, nice try. Yeah. Yeah. It, when you win, it's easy yeah. to do. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to be nice I when mean, you win. I, I mean, I never understood. She skiing. got her dollar. Skiing. You know, I, I would never ski. What a stupid sport. You know, you're Oh, here we go. Here we go. No? Well, you know, you're freezing. he's got more snow Ooh, than we I tell do, you so what? let him yeah. defend Look, I, uh, last week I was it. shoveling my walkway, and, and it, I got excited. I came out to California, and you right. have a whole different flavor of snowflake out here, so I'm oh. dealing with that. But, but you got to get used to the snow and the skiing. I'll bring, I'll bring you skiing sometime. He was he's, preparing that one. I was just going to say, he's no, definitely no, running for president. Are you kidding? Oh, my. He's even got the comedy. Many writers work it. Snowflakes jokes. I'm going out to California. <laughs> Speaking of which, another great segue. Go California Governor Gavin Newsom announced that he plans, oh yeah, I read this, to travel to states where freedom is most under attack. I don't know. Well, would this strategy help Democrats? I, 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 I don't know. A few about years ago, the California legislature banned state money going to travel to states that had so-called anti-LGBTQ laws. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't have the sports teams, you couldn't have state officials going to other states that had controversial laws. And just a couple of days ago, the, one of the leading legislators who supported this said, it's not working. Yeah. And we have to repeal this because there's too much business going on across the country. We have to travel and it would lead to a civil war. I mean, if you can't and, even... And we're also making it very personal. You remember the civil war, what it was called, the war between the right. states? Yeah. We're making it very personal between states. Like, your state is... You mean New the Hampshire? Is kind of, I'm not sure where you're going. Right, is <laughs> kind of purple now, right? I mean, it's... A little more red than purple, but yeah, we always get I mean, stuff done. Yeah. Right, I mean... Yeah. Well, here's but, the thing. He's talking about freedom, less states that are less free. Isn't he the guy who told everybody they had to stay home during COVID, and then he exactly. went to some lobbyist dinner with, what, 25 of his best yeah. friends? So they were yeah. hanging out, having a good time. This was the I number mean, one lockdown state. That's a truth. Does he have a mirror? Oh, yes, he does, because we've seen his hair. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Gavin, the yeah. knives are out. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he makes you know, it easy. I mean, he makes it easy. Come, come, Take care of yes. your own house before yeah, you start he, talking I mean, about other people. Okay, he owned that. He shouldn't have gone out that That's night. Right. He, uh, okay. he shouldn't have locked okay. down his state. Yeah. Um, yeah. Among, he, he, the, among the political peccadilloes, I, I put it about thousandth down on the list. It wasn't, it wasn't his finest moment, but really, come on. If, if that's all you got on him, 
You know, how about the oh, schools? No, how about the millions okay, of kids okay. that didn't get back to school? Uh, how about the businesses that were closed and shut down? If you really I'm want to go there, you said it's his life, you know, I, with the I kids, the floor, so it's brutal. So that's I mean, not, I mean, really. the list on Gavin is quite long. I, okay. Yeah. Do you have okay. time? Put it this no, way, no, no, Republicans I, I, would love to run against Gavin. We would love it. It's a Serena New Sears ticket is being formed here No, 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 remember, I can't run, time. Before anybody says anything about Im immigration again, remember, I wasn't born here. So, so you can't run? No, I can't. Oh, then it's Sununu Martin. And that's why you're so <laughs> delightfully honest. Well, I thank you all for being here. Gotta go. Time for a commercial. <laughs>